Principal of Animal Science, Jerry R. Corpus from BS Abbey 1C. These are the basic principle of animal science, anatomy, physiology, breeding, slaughtering, marketing, processing, and nutrient. Now let's go to the anatomy. Anatomy refers to the internal and external structure of body and their physical relationship, whereas sociology refers to the study of functions of those structures. Now let's go to the contribution of this in animal production. The study of the function of the body or any of its part is referred to as sociology. A thorough understanding of an animal structure provides a wealth of information about the various function it is capable of performing. If you want to work with animals in any capacity, you must have this knowledge. Now let's go to the second basic principle, the physiology. Physiology or animal physiology is a scientific study of animals or their parts life sustaining properties, functions, and processes. The discipline focuses on key homostatic processes such as temperature, blood flow, and hormone regulation. Now let's go to the contribution of this in animal production. Animal physiology focuses on how organisms, organ systems, organs, cells, and biomolecules carry out the chemicals of physical functions that exist in a living system. Now let's go to the third principle, which is breeding. Breeding. Mating of good quality animals to produce highly productive and suitable animals for enhancement of overall performance in a subsequent generation and to augment production and profitable in terms of animals breeding. How about the contribution of this in animal production? Animal breeding ensures a continuous improvement of farm animals, generation after generation. Different animal traits are measured and the best animals are used as parent animals. In this way, breeders provide livestock farmers with the next generation of good animals. Now let's go to the fourth principle which is slaughtering. Slaughtering is a process for killing of animals intended for human consumption. The term slaughter is also used to depict killing of animals by bleeding. Most forms animals are killed by bleeding. The contribution of this in the animal production. In general, the animal would be killed for food. However, they might also be slaughtered for other reasons such as being diseased and unsustainable for consumption. The slaughters involves some initial cuttings, opening the major body cavities to remove the entrails and offals by usually leaving the carcass in one piece. Now let's go to the next principle, which is the nutrition. Nutrition is defined as a process of providing and obtaining the food necessary to the health and growth of animals. Food nutrition are utilized as the main energy source by the animal via various processes, including digestion and absorption in digestive tract blood transport and metabolism in the cell. Moreover, the contribution of this in animal production is that, like human, livestock animals need a balanced diet containing all the necessary nutrients, fluids, minerals, and vitamins. Proper nutrition gives your animals the vigor to grow, develop, reproduce, and strong community to fight off infections. Now let's go to the next principle, which is processing. Animal processing on farms is a process of harvesting or slaughtering one's own food animals to provide for their own families. The contribution of this in an animal production, processing of animal products improve their nutritional quality and also elongate their shelf life thereby giving rooms for their transportation from point of production to any part of the world where they may be needed. Now let's go to the last part which is the marketing. Marketing involves assembling, storing, transporting, processing, grading of goods, and financing of all these activities. It also involves the supply of raw materials to processing industries 
and sales of processed products. Now let's go to the contribution of maize in animal production. Livestock marketing is important for the following reasons. Marketing ensures availability of seasonal products at off-season. It creates a link between farmers and the final consumers. Marketing locates areas of surplus products and relocates the access products to areas of shortage. 